Oh yeah, traders. Oh yes. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's get ready, guys. Let's do this. I'm ready to rock your world. Ninety two different countries. Over thirty three thousand people registered for this event. This makes this the largest ever online trading event in the history of the world. Congratulate yourselves. I'm gonna congratulate me too. Woo! Why not? Why not? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Ready for you guys. Hope you're doing fine. Hope you're doing well. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Coffee, All right, traders, look. <laughs> this has got to be, I think it's my third altogether, my third master class that I'm holding for you. And each time I make each master class a little bit different from the last one, sometimes a lot different. Now, my last master class, I think I I went overboard in terms of time, what have you, and we're not going to do that today. But I want you to sit down, relax. I want you to get ready to take notes because for the next two and a half hours, I'm going to bring you in into in a very detailed way um, into three or four major concepts that form the foundation for all of my trading and all of the tactics and techniques that I teach my traders to utilize in the markets every single day now listen this is my promise to you if you get a grasp of these three to four concepts i'll share with you if you get a grasp and you understand them i promise you if you are a trader if you implement these three or four concepts in your trading your trading will never be the same it will be infinitely improved from this day forward that i can promise you if you have an interest in trading and you're not trading as of yet, understanding these concepts are going to give you one of the best starts. Of uh, These concepts are going to give you a phenomenal start to your foray into the trading arena. Now, I also want to let you know this, that it doesn't matter what you trade, stocks, options, bonds, futures, currencies, cryptocurrencies. It doesn't matter. These concepts are universally applicable across all markets. In addition to that, what I'll share with you is also applicable to any time frame. So it really doesn't matter very much whether you're a day trader and you're in and out of things very quick, or you like to play the slower long term investment game. You see, in my philosophy, traders, what is true in the little time frame should be true in the big time frame. What's true for a day trader is the same truth for an investor. What's true in the stock market is the same truth in the cryptocurrency markets. Why? Because it's human beings that trade markets back and forth. Even the machines that trade markets back and forth are created by human beings. So at the end of the day, it's human beings that actually play the markets. They actually move the markets through their buys and sells. Well, those buys or sells are largely driven by two dominant emotions, right? Fear and greed. There's a third one, ambivalence, but the two dominant ones are fear and greed. 
When the market is experiencing greed, markets go up. When the market is experiencing fear, markets drop. Plain and simple. Not easy, but plain and simple. Now, this is why whatever I teach you is going to be applicable across all time frames in any market because it's the same human behavior creating the same occurrences that create the same patterns no matter where you go. So fear and greed exist in the equity market, the stock market. Fear and greed exist in the crypto market. Fear and greed ex exist in the options market. Fear and greed exists exist in the futures market. And because the, the constant is fear and greed, you'll get constantly the same occurrences, the same bull markets, the same bear markets, the same topping markets, the same bottoming markets, the same repetitive patterns created by human being across all markets. And so every trading strategy, every trading tactic, every method, every approach must be based around the interaction between these two dominant emotions, fear and greed. And one of the keys to playing any market properly, traders, is your ability to identify when does greed stop and hand the controls over to greed? What does that transfer look like? We're going to talk about that today. And when does fear stop? and hand the controls back over to greed. What does that transfer look like? Is it possible to identify that moment every single time? Is it possible to identify the switch back and forth? When is the up move greed over? And when is the down move going to begin now that it has the controls? Is it possible to identify that moment in time in any market with a relative decent degree of accuracy? Absolutely. That's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about helping you identify the transfer between greed and fear back and forth, which is nothing more than being able to identify when an up move should begin and when a down move should begin. And this is at the core of proper market play. If you can grasp that, you can go out there and make money. You'll need money to start, but you, with your starting capital, you should be able to consistently grow that capital. So let's get started. Now, I know that there are, um, I guess, a lot of people, a lot of people who uh, really don't know who I am. So I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time here going over who I am before we delve into the material. So let me do that very quickly. I'll make sure that that is quick, I promise. Um, guys, look, I placed my first, my place my first trade in March of 1981. Now that's probably before many of you watching me were, were, were born, right? My first trade ever. I became a, an official professional trader on Wall Street in December of 1986. So that makes me pretty much a dinosaur in this business. Not a dinosaur, but certainly makes me a veteran in this business. I've been a professional trader for the past 33 years. I left Wall Street to create my first, my first firm called Pristine back in September of 1994. Pristine would go on to become one of the largest trading organizations one of the largest training organizations in the field of trading in the entire world. We had millions of followers and tens of thousands of traders that we taught worldwide. Um, I was selected because of my popularity and the dominant force, because of the dominant force that I was in the professional trading space, the industry decided that I would be the face of the entire industry and chose me to be the inaugural, the inaugural keynote speaker to the first International Day Traders Expo back in 1999. I am the uh, author of five international best-selling books 
on the subject of trading markets for a living. In addition to that, these five books are written in five different languages and sell more copies than all other trading books on the markets combined. I currently have one of the largest trading organizations in this industry, if not in the world, with over 10,000 plus equity, stock, and forex traders. I continue to be one of the most sought after speakers on the topic of trading the markets for a living. And I continue to be a consultant to some of the largest exchanges in the world. So that is basically what I am. Let me quickly show you here. Um, that is what I explained to you in English. In addition to that, guys, I at once I once owned the second largest direct access brokerage firm in the United States, the Dow Jones Industrial. Um, Dow Jones actually dubbed me the Messiah of day trading in 1999, and Barrons, which is one of the most um, respected periodicals in the professional investment and trading world, uh, named me the number one source in the United States to go to for trading, training, and education. Here is, um, a, here is my first service that I created back in September of 1994. This service went out to international um, investment firms, um, hedge funds, and institutional trading firms that bought my research. In this, in this item, I would select two things to play each day and give them a little motivational and trading talk on the right hand side. As you can see, this copy is this initial, this issue is from September 21st, 1998. It was called the Christine Day Trader. Christine Day Trader, starting in 1994, would go on to have literally millions of people receiving this research from me on a day by day basis. This is the Barron's article, as you can see in the circle. Um, they wrote a huge article naming me, my service, the pristine day trader, the number one service in the United States. As you can see at the arrow at the bottom, I beat out many of the other services beneath, beneath the pristine day trader. Right? As you can look in the right hand corner, they did that, I believe, in 1998, if I'm not mistaken, long before many of you were thinking about trading. This is a picture of me in an article written on me as the spokesman for the entire trading community when I gave my inaugural speech at the very first International Day Traders Expo. And as you can see, I'm underlining here where this periodical names me as one of the top day traders in the country, that country being the United States of America. This is a picture of my five books in all of the different countries, and these five books continue to sell more copies every single year than all other trading books, all other trading books combined. This is all not by mistake, Trey. I promise you. I do want you, before we delve into the material, I want you to make sure that you're following me on Instagram where I put out daily content on trading. I also want you to follow me on Periscope where I go live with my trading at times and I have live mini talks with you, intimate training, educational talks. All of this is free content for you. So follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Periscope as well. I have an English Periscope channel as well as a, an English uh, Periscope channel. And of course, you're here on YouTube. This is becoming one of the most popular trading YouTube channels in the world. I dedicate a great deal of my time um, to make sure that I am putting something of value in your hands every single day of the year. 365 days, I do my part in putting something extremely valuable in the hands of individuals who have an interest in trading in the financial markets. And of course, you can follow me on Facebook. This is the 
most intimate way to stay in touch with me. Should you have a question, should you be confused about something, these are the avenues through which you can make that, that contact that contact with me. All right. Now, um, for those of you who are in English, uh, for those of you who are listening to this in English, um, just listen to my words. The slides are going to be in Spanish because 98% of the audience for this event this time is, is, um, is Spanish speaking. The first thing I just want to let people know, because I know I have a lot of people who are just being introduced to the game of trading. I need them to know a few things, that there are pluses to trading and there are minuses to trading, right? So look, here are the pluses. Trading is a business and you should approach it as a business, not as a hobby, right? But when you get into trading, you're in an essence starting your own business. That's a plus. Everyone should have their own business. We live in a world where being an employee and being this and, and, and having your life rely on another company, that world is slowly dying. It is probably, it's dying not even that slowly anymore. Every individual needs to become entrepreneurial in a way, and every individual should have their own business, and trading can be your own business. What's another positive thing? It requires only a laptop computer and an internet connection, and you are in business from anywhere on planet Earth. You're not locked to an office. You're not locked to a desk. You're not locked into a specific location. If you want to, you can trade from the balcony of a beautiful hotel looking over an amazing beach. You can trade from a mountaintop, a cabin in the woods, as long as there's internet connection. You can trade from your kitchen table. You can trade from, the, from, from your lounge chair on the beach. You can trade from your toilet if you want to. This is a huge plus. It does not, you are in business 24 hours a day, especially with crypto markets and especially with, with Forex markets. This did not exist when I traded. So it is possible to gain access to trading any part of the day, 24 hours a day, so that if you work during the day, you can trade at night. If you work during the night, you can trade at day, at, during the daytime. This did not exist when I started trading and it's a beautiful plus today. You don't need eight hours a day to trade to make a living at this. Many of my traders trade one hour a day, 90 minutes a day. Some of them trade 20 to 30 minutes a day. My average day lasts about 18 minutes. So you don't, this is a beautiful plus where you don't have to sit in a chair for eight, 10 hours to, to make your, to make your living. Um, another positive thing is that transactional costs have dropped very, very low today. When my, I first started trading, transactional costs to buy and sell cost thousands of dollars. Today, it costs pennies on the dollar. Today, there's a good possibility that you can be funded. I personally fund all of my traders. This was very hard to find when I first started trading. Individuals that were willing to give you money to, to, to trade. And so I'm a funder. There are other funders in the industry today, but I was one of the first individuals in this industry to actually train my traders and personally fund them. I tell my traders, do not risk your own capital. This is not a game where you put your money in. This is a game where you trade other people's money. And I want you to understand that no one on Wall Street trades their own money. No professional trader on Wall Street trades his own money. No hedge fund trades their own money. Maybe there's a few exceptions, but the vast majority of professionals on the street, the vast majority of professionals in the financial world do not use their own money. And that means you should not use their own money. The only people using their own money to do this are the novices and the novices as we know, the majority of them lose. You should not be using your own capital. You should be using my capital or someone else that funds you. Don't ever risk a single penny of your own money at this game. That has always been my message, and that is my message today. So the possibility of you finding financing is far greater today than before. Right? You can earn, I mentioned this, you can earn your living in less than 30 minutes a day. 
If you ever get this correct, traders, I promise you that you will be respected and adored by people the world over. People will want to be your friend. People will want to send you gifts. People will want to have dinner with you, spend time with you. People will just want you. They'll, you will be respected and adored. Anyone who has the ability to make money from the markets, they're respected by the wealthy and the non-wealthy, by the sophisticated and the non-sophisticated. It's a beautiful life if you ever, ever achieve the success that we're trying to help you do right now. And there is no other activity that can offer the level of freedom and financial independence that trading has. Listen, traders, listen to me carefully. Listen to me. There are successful doctors in the world. We know that, right? There are successful doctors in the world. And, um, but they're not free. Right? Think of the pandemic that happened. Doctors are free. Like there are millions of doctors that wanted to be home safe with their family, but they couldn't. That's not freedom. Now, we need doctors and I love doctors. Thank God for them but they don't live a free life. They might have financial success, but it doesn't come with freedom. Lawyers are subject to the whims of their clients, right? Most activities that even can offer some level of financial success don't offer freedom. Trading is one of the last bastions of total independence traders. Trading is one of the last activities on planet Earth that can potentially offer that financial freedom in addition to that, that financial independence, in addition to freedom, freedom of location, no bosses, no specific location, no travel, no time restraints, no, no demands by anyone. It's you, your laptop computer, and the markets. That's it. And that is a beautiful thing. But... I must get into the negatives as well, right? And I know for those of you who have watched me over and over again, I know this is repetitive for you, but remember you at one particular time listened to me speak for the first time as well. And these are messages that I have to get across to everyone. It is my duty. It is my responsibility. So let's talk about the negatives. Everything has pluses and everything has negatives too. It's important that you understand the negatives probably even more important than the positives. I want you to know what you're up against. I want you to know the negatives here, traders. It's very, very important. So the first negative, the first negative is that the majority of people know nothing about the markets. I can fix that. Don't worry about that. But the majority of people don't try this because they think it's above their head. They think they can't know it. They think that it's it's too sophisticated. They think it's too complicated. They think that because they don't know it, they can't learn it. This is a mistake. The markets are a very simple mechanism. It's not easy, but it's simple. That is what I dedicate my life to, spreading the gospel of, of trading, showing that it is the last bastion of total independence, showing that it has the potential to change your life showing that anyone can do it do it as long as they have a basic level of intelligence okay the second thing is that 92 percent of people fail yes there i said it i am putting it in your face no one will ever 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 tell me that i have not put this fact in their face every single time i'm given the opportunity to speak Every time I'm giving a mic, traders, it is my responsibility to tell you the odds are against you. It is my responsibility to tell you that you will probably not make it. It is, it is my responsibility to let you know, traders, that out of every 100 people who try this, 92% fail. 92%. 8% make it. 92 out of every 100 fail. So that means that the odds are against you. 
That means that the odds were against me. That means that the odds were against every other successful trader. And that means that the odds are against every trader who doesn't make it. And that is a simple fact. But let me tell you this. The odds are against you if you try the restaurant business. Do you know that the restaurant business has just as high of a failure rate, if not a higher failure rate? Most restaurants don't last five years. Do you know that business in general has a high failure rate? Most businesses are out of businesses in out of business inside of five years. Do you know what the failure rate is to become a professional athlete? Like 99.9%. Does that mean that you shouldn't have your kids play soccer and play football and try? Everything has a high failure rate. Everything that you can potentially gain success at has a high failure rate. So don't let that stop you. But it is my responsibility to tell you the truth that there is a 92% failure rate in this business. And I've seen the failure rate as high as 96% on years like this. Now, on years like this, I've seen the failure rate drop to about 80%. So it's not a fixed number. That 92% is not a fixed number, but it's big and it's real. I want to put it in your face. Know what you're up against. And you're going to have to decide whether you have what it takes to be the 8%. Because listen to me, there are two types of players in this game. Those that put money into the game, you should never put money into the game. I told you that. And then there are those who pull money out of the game. That's who I want you to be. I don't want you to ever make a deposit. Never use my deposit. Don't ever use your deposit. I don't want you to make a deposit. I only want you withdrawn. But listen, if I create you into a lifetime Withdrawer. If you're a person that's constantly taking money out of the markets, out of the markets, out of the markets, where is that money coming from? It's coming from the 92%. We need the 92%. We adore the 92%. We honor the 92%. Why? Because that is where our money comes from. We don't deposit. We don't contribute. We pull money out. That has to come from somewhere. I don't know. That might not make you feel very good about yourself, but that's the game. That's the game. You've got two players, depositors, which you will never become, hopefully, and withdrawers, which you will become, hopefully. All right? But no one will ever accuse me of ever saying, like a lot of people in this industry, that everyone can make it. No, 92% will not make it. And no one on planet Earth can change that fact. That is the truth. All right, guys. What else? Um, you, you have to understand that you're going to lose first at this game. That's the way it is. That's a negative. You lose first. You learn by losing. You don't start off as a successful trader. Just like you don't start off successfully at anything in life, all right? Professional soccer player has been, been losing and falling for years and years as a kid before becoming a professional. We fall before we rise. We, we, in order for a dancer to leap, he must first squat. We go down first. We lose first. We come from underneath. And this is what stops a lot of true people from doing this because they start it and they see that they're losing in the beginning and then they stop. But that's supposed to happen. You're supposed to lose, which is another reason why you shouldn't be using your own capital because you're going to lose first. It's just the way it is. And anyone who thinks they're going to enter into this business as a winner right off the bat is naive, dumb, and they deserve to lose. You can't become successful before you gain experience and during experience building you're going to lose period don't put your money on the line when you know you're going to lose it first if losing is before winning then why would you want to put your own money up it doesn't make sense and no one on the wall on wall street does only novices do that all right, you have to, a few more things, and then I promise we're going to get to the material. But this, this is very important, Trey. This is very important to understand these things. 
I tell you the truth. I'm not here to sell you some fake dream. I'm not here to tell you that everyone is going to be a success and we're like a, like a freaking Disney movie. No, this is not a Disney movie. This is real life. It's simple, but it's not easy. And yes, the odds are against you. You have to decide whether or not you're going to be, you have the potential to be one of the 8%. Now, um, in order to become a master, you have to have years of experience. Now, I want you to understand that mastery can't come right away. Mastery can't come in three months. Mastery can't even come in three years. But you don't have to be a master to make money. Don't misunderstand me. Money and mastery are very different. Mastery is at the highest level of the game. Just like in sports, right? You can have a master amongst good players, right? In soccer or in football, um, uh, Lionel Messi is a master. But there are players in the professional football soccer league that are not quite on the level of that mastery, but they still make millions of dollars. They still make a living for themselves. So mis don't misunderstand me. Mastery is years off. Making money comes years before mastery. But the goal should be mastery. Now, no one's going to understand you. That's another negative. No one's going to understand you. Your family's not going to understand you. Your parents are likely not going to understand you. Sometimes you're going to go to bed next to, go to bed every single night with the person that you love the most in the world, and they're not going to understand you. Most people don't understand this. I went through this for eight years of my life. No one understood. No one supported me. No one wanted me to do this. Everyone was saying it was gambling. Everyone said it's a casino. Everyone said I was wasting my time. Everyone says I, I was wasting my life, wasting my education. Buying into a scam, a hoax, as if there aren't professional, real professional traders in the world. So be prepared if you plan to do this, that the vast majority of people in your life are not going to understand until you can take care of them. Because that's when the people in my life began to understand. When I started being able to take care of the same people, did not believe. It's a lonely road sometimes. There is a cost for training. The same way there's a cost to learn how to swim, if you don't know how to swim, or, or for golf instructions. There's a cost for everything. There's a freaking cost for your groceries. There's a, there's a cost for a professional to take time and to train you. That is in every in industry in the world, right? Now, do not think that you can learn to play the most sophisticated game in this world, trading. Don't think you can learn how to do that on the internet. The internet can help, but don't think that it's as easy as trying to learn how to do this on the internet. You are not going to step into this, into the most competitive market in the world and take money from some of the smartest people on planet Earth just because you've been reading stuff on the internet. It's just not going to happen. That's very, very naive. That's like saying you can learn how to play soccer on the internet. You can learn how to fix a car on the internet. Come on, guys. You can't learn. The internet is information. That is not experiential knowledge. Having a mentor will get you to your goal faster. It's just the case in trading and the case in everything else. And the last thing, guys, you need money to do this. And let me tell you something. You need a lot of it. Listen to me carefully. There are a lot of people in this industry, right? There are a lot of people in this industry, traders, claiming that you don't need a lot of money to do this. There are a lot of the stories on the internet, how I turn $5,000 into $5 trillion, these stories. Listen, I'm not saying that it hasn't happened once or twice, but this is not what we're after. In this world, it takes money to make money. That is the truth. And anyone who's telling you that it doesn't require Big money to make big money 
is lying to you. Money makes money in this world. This is the lie that's been sold to poor people for tens, for tens of thousands of years. All right? Come on in. You don't need very much at all. You can't play this game with money. Trust me. You show up to the market with your $3,000 account. I show up to the market with my $5 million account, account. And we trade the same thing. Trust me. You leave without your $3,000 every single time. It takes money to make money. Now, I fix the money part. I start every trader off with $50,000, and that's little money, but it's a good place to start. But anything less than that, in my opinion, is not sufficient to do it professionally. We're talking about professional trading here. Right? And I know you've been told and sold a lot of other things, but trust me, all right? You want to come back to reality? It takes money to make money. I've got the money for you, so don't worry about that. All right, let's go. Let me quickly talk to you about the business. A lot of people think I'm in the business of training traders. No, my first company was in the business of training traders, Christine. I am not in the business of training traders today. I'm in the business of putting traders in business with me. I'm in the business of setting up trading businesses for other traders, right? And us sharing the rewards. That is my business. My business is very simple, guys. I travel around the globe recruiting traders, teaching them and showing them you can set up your own trading business. This is your business, not mine. I will invest in the business. We will share. The rewards, and you will never risk a single penny of your family's money ever. This is my business, setting you up in the trading business. Not, not just train. I'm not interested in training you unless we're going to go in business together. I did that for 12 years. I'm no longer interested in that. I'm only interested in training you if we can go into business together. I'm not interested in training you and saying goodbye, okay? So if that's what you're into, all right, just watch my YouTube videos. But let me explain the business to you. All right, guys, this is what every one of my traders must go through. They get a $50,000 account. I train them every single day. I want you to understand this. I train them every single day, all right? They start off with a $50,000 account. With the training, they have to demonstrate their ability to make $3,000. Once they do that, they have graduated. That's their graduation. Now our business starts here, for real. That $50,000 is real. The trader's goal is to make $3,000. They get 40%, I get 60%. Now remember, this is huge, all right? You're gonna get 40% of the gains without ever putting a penny into anything. I'm going to receive 60% because it's my money at risk. If you lose my $50,000, that's my fault. It's not your fault. That means that I did not train you properly. That means that I failed at my part of the job and I take 100% of the losses. You are not responsible for the losses. I'm responsible for the losses. But we do share the gains. 60% to me. 40% to you. Once you achieve this $3,000 here, you then go to a $100,000 account. Boom. Now your goal is $6,000. You get 40%. I get 60%. All right? You're paid out monthly, by the way. In addition to that, after achieving $6,000, you go to $250,000. Now your goal is ten. dollars Then you go to half a million dollars. Now your goal is twenty. dollars Now your real goal is to get to these two levels. Levels three and four, because that's where some serious money can be made. Now, here's the thing. You first have to demonstrate your ability in practice mode to go out there with real data, with the knowledge and training that I give you every single day of your life. You have to demonstrate your ability to make $3,000 before the business begins. Now, that's not the difficult part. The difficult part is not taking $50,000 
and making three thousand dollars. I've got I've had traders that do that in a day. I've had traders make what fifty thousand dollars, eighteen hundred dollars, a thousand, eight hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. I've had people reach that three thousand dollars in a snap. That's not the hard part. The hard part is you've got to make the three thousand dollars without ever losing three hundred on any given day, without ever losing six hundred in total any given week. Now, this means that you've got to make the three thousand dollars like a professional. You've got to make the $3,000 responsibly. You've got to make the $3,000 without ever letting the account drop very far. You see, there are a lot of people on demos that show you these huge numbers of gains, but they don't show you that they were down a zillion dollars first and then just, just sat there like an idiot waiting for the, the market to come all the way back to give them a gain. But that's not... That's not realistic in the real world. No one's going to let you lose their money irresponsibly. If you get hired by a Wall Street firm, there are rules and guidelines to your trading. You can't lose more than this on a trade. You can't lose more than this on a specific day. You can't lose more than this on a week. I am basing this model on my career as a professional trader. I was given $80 million to trade traders, $80 million, and I had rules. I had specific guidelines. I could not lose indiscriminately. And so you can't lose indiscriminately. Your limits are $300 on any given day. And if you reach $300, your keyboard stops working and my algorithms auto shut your account down until the very next day. You won't even be able to use your keyboard until the very next day. If you lose $600 on any given week, you've got six seconds to do the right thing. Inside of that six seconds, if you don't, my automatic trading algorithms will auto liquidate your account in the blink of an eye and your keyboard won't work until the next week. Now, I'm generous, but I'm not an idiot. This is how it's done on Wall Street. There is a profile for every trader. Maximum loss per trade, maximum loss per day, maximum loss per week. And this is what you have here as well. Maximum loss per day, maximum loss per week. This means that you have to grow the account to that $3,000 number without ever letting the account go down very Far. You see, just like a beautiful stock goes down sometimes, but doesn't go down a lot. You don't want to be a trader that does this. Nobody wants to give that trader money. But everyone wants to give this trader money. You see the difference? You see the difference? Sometimes like this, sometimes like that, sometimes like that, but never a lot down, never a lot down. Not like this. None of that nonsense. No one will give you a single penny if that's the way you trade. So you have to achieve this $3,000, boom, $3,000 without big drops. See? Now, big drops. That makes you a professional. You achieve this and you graduate it, and we're in business together with hopefully a money making machine. All right? Now, a lot of people say, Oliver, listen to this. A lot of people say, Oliver, um, why is it why is it that you travel the globe building traders and giving them capital it's simple mm, money um i just want more like look guys if i'm i'm going to teach you tactics right now get your notebooks out i want you to get your pens out get ready to take these concepts in i promise you they are going to do wonders for 
but listen to me carefully, traders. Um, if I'm taking advantage of an opportunity in Microsoft, what about the opportunity that's happening right now in Facebook, Twitter, Starbucks, Apple, Tesla? I can't be at every place at the same time, at every stock at the same time. So what if I spread my money out over an army of traders and said, while I'm trading Microsoft, I want you trading Twitter, I want you trading Facebook, I want you trading Apple, I want you trading Starbucks, I want you trading QCOM, I want you trading PayPal. You understand what I'm saying? So now the entire market is covered and we're not missing any opportunities. That's the dream. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? All right, that's it. That's why I do this. And that's why I'm willing to risk my own capital. I know it works. And this is what firms do on Wall Street. They bring traders in, give them capital, train them, give them capital. A lot of people are out there saying this, guys, which is silly. Successful traders don't train. Are you stupid? So what are so so how do you, how does a successful trader become a successful trader if there's no training? That they're born a successful trader? That, do you think that Wall Street doesn't have training programs? I was trained. I wasn't allowed to place a trade for six months. I had to watch six months. Let me give you a quick story. So back in back in the 1980s, right when I started my professional career, there was I had a six month training training period, right six months where I could not place a trade. But what I had to do was write out a buy ticket when I thought it was a trade. And back then, you wrote out a ticket and then you handed it to an order taker. That order taker took the trade, took the order, and then the order would show up on your screen. There was no press a button and you get filled. That didn't exist then. You had to send your order to an order taker who placed the trade, and then the trade would show up on your computer. That was the way it was done. But I wasn't allowed to do that. So in, so for my training, I had to, whenever I thought there was a trade, I had to write out a buy ticket, and then they gave me a time stamper. I had to take the buy ticket, ching ching, time it, an official time stamp. And then whenever I wanted to sell, I had to fill out a sell ticket, right? Take the ticket, time it. So that was one trade, my buy timestamp and my sell timestamp. At the end of the day, my head trader, the head trader on my specific desk would review those slips of paper and see how I performed, see how I did. How many losers? How many winners? What was the drawdown on my losers? How far did I let my losses get out of control? How far did I let my winners run? And I was evaluating, that's training. He would correct certain things and look at certain things and say, listen, you gotta, you shouldn't have been in the banks because the banks were weak today. Why were you in the banks? So don't ever buy into this idea that successful traders don't train, especially successful traders that are looking to broaden their own professional trading team. They're going to have to train traders how to do the right thing before they give them their capital. All successful traders train if they're looking to expand their business. All right, guys, enough of that. Let's get into the material. Get ready, guys. Get ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! All right. That's the slide in English. For my English people watching right now. I'll take a quick slide. By the way, guys, you can take copies, you can take image, you can capture images, you can record. I don't care what you do. This is my gift to you. Let's talk about some of the basics, the tools we need. We need a $50,000 account to start. I told you that. We're going to start off with $50,000. I will give that to you. Okay. It's my money, but you get to use it. Now, we need a two-minute chart. We need a chart where every bar represents two minutes of trading. We need a 20 period moving average and a 200 period moving average. These are the four things we need to make money to turn our business on. These four things. All right. $50,000 account, two minute chart. And we need two moving averages on that chart. Let's look at that. Here is a two minute chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, guys. Each bar represents two minutes of trading. All right. Each bar represents two minutes of trading. 
The green bars are two minutes of movement to the upside. The red bars are two minute movements to the downside. Some bars are bigger than others. As you can see, there are some fat green bars here. Boom, 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 boom. There are smaller green bars, right? So bars of different types. And then you have the red ones too, right? You've got some fat red bars, some pretty sizable fat red bars, but a lot of smaller ones, all right? Now, one of the keys to reading proper market play is which color is most dominant in your chart? Are there more greens than reds? And are there more, which color produces itself with more consistency? Which color produces itself consecutively more than the other? So look, green, 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 then one red. See, green, 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 then one red. Green, one red, green, red, 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 red. Okay, then green, red, wait, green, green, red, green, 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 green. Look, green, 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 one red, green, 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 green. So which color is more prevalent than the other color and which color can produce itself more consecutively? And the third thing, which color produces bigger bars than the other on average? So look at your red bars. Most of them are little. You get some that are sizable, but most are little, 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 little. But now look at the size of your greens on average. Your greens are heavier, bigger, more sizable. So you've got the three things here, right? You've got the dominant, the dominant color is green. There are more green bars on this chart than red bars. And the, the, the color that produces more consecutive runs without interrupting, without interrupts from the opposite color is your green. And the size of the green are bigger. So here's a market that is purely dominated by the buyers. And you should be a buyer, too. You should never be think about trying to become a seller or try to profit on the downside when you've got all three of these things telling you it's the green. The game is the green game, not the red game. OK, so that's a two minute chart, guys. And. Here that we need to put a 20 period moving average and a 200 period moving average on that chart. Let's do it now. Boom. That blue line represents a simple 20 period moving average. The red line is a 200 simple period moving average. Now I want you to note that the stock is rising. The 20 period moving average is rising and both of them are above the 200. I'm going to repeat that. I want you to note very quickly. The stock is rising. The 20 is rising. And both of them are above this 200 period moving average. This is what I call the picture of power. You will make the vast majority of your money in this game playing the picture of power. Let's repeat the picture of power again. Rising stock, rising 20, both rising above the 200. Picture of power. Now, another thing I want to bring your attention to very quickly. I want you to note that. There are movements away from the 20. See the 20 here? Movements away, and then the stock come, and then we come back. There are movements away, okay, and then we come back. There are movements away, and then we come back. This is a very important concept. Stocks can get away from their 20. They can't stay away from their 20. They can get away from their 20. They can't stay away from the 20. I'm going to repeat that. Stocks can get away from the 20, can't stay. Stocks can get away from the 20, can't stay. Stocks can get away from the 20, can't stay. We're going to come back. Just like stocks come back to the 20, we're going to come back to this concept a little bit later. All right? Let's go. Now, here is Facebook's two minute chart. Each bar represents two minutes of chart, two minutes of time trading. As you know, red ones means two minutes of movement to the downside. Green ones 
mean two minute movements to the upside. Now take a look. We might have to put a 20 period moving average on the chart and a 200 period moving average on the chart, right? Let's do that now. Boom. Blue line represents the 20. The red line represents the 200. All these moving averages are doing is averaging out the last 20 bars of the two minute chart, the blue line, and the 200 is averaging the last 200 bars to give you a smoother picture of the short term trend and the long term trend. The 20 period moving average is telling you that the short term trend is down, the long term trend is flattish to down. Okay? Short term, long term. Okay. Now, notice the same thing to the downside. Remember, I told you this. Remember, I told you this. Let me go back to you. I need you to. I need you to see me. I need to. This. What I do here with me in your face. What happens a lot of times, guys, is that it drills the concept in a little bit. Right? Now, look, stocks can get away from the twenty. They can't stay away. Got that? And get away from the 20. Boom! And they can't stay away from the 20. They must snap back. Listen to me. The 20 period moving average is sort of like a leash. All right? The stock is like a dog. So the leash has a certain amount of leeway to it, right? There's a certain length. So if the dog runs too far ahead, then there's no more, no more. Uh, length or lack in the leash. And then the leash pulls the dog back. The dog runs ahead, boom, the leash pulls the dog back. The dog runs ahead, the leash pulls it back. The stock runs above, and then the 20 pulls the stock back in. But this also happens on the downside. Let's take a quick look, right? Let's take a quick look. Love it. Loving this. All right. Make sure I got that correct. Is that correct? Okay, cool. So now your 20 period moving average is declining. All right? I want you to understand that when you've got the, the stock declining under the 20, you now have the picture of power down. Remember, the other picture of power was the picture of power up, right? Remember that? Remember that? Okay, let's go back to it very quickly. It's important. Important that you follow this. It's very important. All right, here's the picture of power up. Picture of power up. All right, stock moving up above the 20, and both are above the 200. That's the picture of power up. Okay, now there's a picture of power down. Here you have stock declining. Under the 20, and both are under the 200. This is the picture of power down. Now, we want to become picture of power specialists. That is what I need to do. I need to turn you into picture of power specialists. So, when we've got a picture of power to the upside, we play to the upside. When we've got a picture of power to the downside, like Facebook now, we play the market to the downside. You can play the market betting, betting to the upside or betting to the downside, but you've got to know when the odds are best in your favor. And we do this through my picture of power concept. All right, now let's go to the next concept I shared with you. Stocks can, can get away from the 20, they can't stay away. Look, stocks can get away from the 20, they can't stay away. There's that snapback again, all right? Stocks can get away from the 20. They can't stay away. Come back near. Stocks can get away from the 20. They can't stay. Come back near. So look at this. Movement away. Come back near. Movement away. Come back near. Movement away. Come back near. Beautiful. So look, if stocks can get away and when they're away they're often due to come back what do you think you should be doing when a stock moves away getting out what do you think you should do when a stock comes back near getting back in what do you think you should do when a stock gets away from the 20 
getting out. What do you think you should do when the stock comes back near? Get back in. What do you think you should do when the stock gets away? Get out. It's a simple concept. And we're going to talk about this next. When does the game end? All right. Now let's go back to when do you think you should, what do you think you should do when your stock gets away from the 20? Get out. What do you think you should do when the stock comes near? Get back in. What do you think you should do when the stock gets away? Get out. Or take some profits. What do you think you should do when the stock comes back near? Get back in. What do you think you should do when the stock comes, gets away? Get out. You get the picture. It is your best periods to get in or near the trending 20 period moving average, near near the best times to get out are away 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 so you should never come in here never come in there never be a buyer there away 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 and you should never bet on the downside here you should bet closer to the 20. You should never bet on the downside here. You should bet a little closer to the 20. You should never come in and bet on the downside here. i got to cover this concept and tell you that this game is over now. We'll get to that. Let's keep going. Keep your notes flowing. Keep your notes flowing. Okay, let's talk about power bars very quickly. Got to talk about power bars. I'm giving you the individual things. We're going to put them all together at the end. You know the picture of power up, the picture of power down. You know that stocks can get away from the 20. They can't stay away from the 20. Those are, those are the two things we've covered so far. Now let's go to the next thing, power bars. There are two types of power bars. I call them elephants and tail bars okay elephants are the fat green ones they suggest more movement to the upside bear elephants are the fat red ones they suggest movement to the downside then you have the bottoming tail bars where the tails are at the bottom of a little body now the body can be green or red it doesn't matter all right but these tail bars indicate just like a rocket. Think of this like a rocket. Going higher. A rocket. Going higher. Big giant elephant footprint. Going higher. Okay. Now think of this going lower. And this is the rocket going the other way. Lower. Lower. Okay. So these indicate lower prices likely to come. These three bars indicate higher prices likely to come. Remember the bars, elephants and tails. And remember the tails at the bottom are rockets shooting upward. The tails at the, at the top are rockets shooting downward. All of this is shooting downward. These are shooting upward. Now, what do we do with these? Very simple. We buy above, we buy into the stock above the fat elephant ones. We buy above the rocket tail bars. Boom, buy, boom, buy, right above, all right? So we're buying, boom, boom, right above, right above. And on the downside, we're entering what is called short, profiting on the downside, right below the fat elephant one. Boom! And we're entering short right below the tail rocket ones. Boom! So these are our entries. Boom! This is when we jump in. Okay? Now remember, when are you going to use these? In the picture of power right 
stop 20 200 now I'm gonna use these when are we gonna use these in the down picture of power stop now these are the important bars tell me you understand that a few of you let me know that these are reserved for the up picture of power these are reserved for the down picture of power now we have the picture to play and the bars to play tell me you understand this I'll give you a few minutes let me know let me know if you're picking up what i'm laying down right now let me know let me know let me know give it to me talk to me boom yeah we're gonna put this together Woo into something so beautiful concise very 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 powerful very powerful excited guys after this master class I guarantee you, you'll be able to go out there into your internet world, your chat rooms, your this and that. You'll be able to pick things off better than anyone there. Anyone after today. Watch, you'll see. You'll see. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo. <laughs> All right. Love this game. Love this game. Look at, this is an example of a two-minute chart of Roku. Roku is on, has been on fire, guys, on fire, All right? Look at the date. This is this is a date. This is April 20th. I'm going back a little bit. Let's grab an example here. Look at your elephant bar. Boom! Look at the picture of power. Stop. 20, 200. That's the picture of power up, right? Now, we want the, we want, I don't care which one comes. Elephant tail doesn't matter to me. Boom! Elephant. Look, 129 to 135. Are you kidding me? Look, guys, 129 to 135 in two, four, six, eight, ten minutes. Woo! Ten freaking minutes. Ten minutes. That's crazy. Wow. Look, two minute chart. Insane, insane. All right, beautiful. Look at the topping tail bar, which indicates. Remember when the, it indicates lower prices, right? There's your topping tail bar. Lower prices for a bit. Okay. Now look, your stock can get away from the twenty. Can't stay there. Away, way, way can't stay away. When's the best time to come in? Near the 20, near the 20, near the 20, near the 20. Away, out, 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 out. These concepts are simple, but they are extraordinarily powerful. I've always believed, traders, that if you can't train, teach your, if you can't explain your trading system to a 12-year-old and have the 12-year-old say, ah, okay, I get that, then it's too complex. Most people bring complexity to the game. The game doesn't, isn't complex. The game doesn't have complexity. You bring the complexity. You make it hard. It's not complex. I want you to understand that. It's not Complex. That's better. Okay. Find your elephant bars. Find them for me. Find the fat green ones. Boom. Boom. Right? You see them? You see the fat ones? Boom. Right? That's huge run. It doesn't look like it, but that's big. It's 
thousands of dollars that it's crazy. Okay. So remember, we've got the concepts of picture of power up, picture of power down, power. We've got Stotskin. All right. Let me let me do this, do this. Okay. Very quickly. I gotta show you my face again. <laughs> All right. Look. So look. We've got these things we've covered so far. We've got picture of power up. Raise up for you. Picture of power up. Picture of power down. All right. We've got stocks can get away from the 20, can't stay away from the 20. So stocks can get above the 20, snap back to the 20. Stocks can get below the 20. Snap back to the 20, right? Got that concept. Then we got the power bars. Elephant. Power tail bars. And then the power bars negative. You get the point. Downward. Downward bar. So power bars up, power bars down, right? We got the concept that it is best to get in near the 20 and to get out away from the 20. So power bars near the 20, away from the 20 out. Power bars near the 20, get in, away from the 20, get out. Repeat, 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 repeat for the rest of your life. All you just need is money. Now, i got to also teach you how to protect yourself just in case things don't work because we all know, guys, that it's not nothing's 100% in life. All right? Here, take a look at elephant bar here. Boom. Boom. Near the 20. Picture of power. Stock rising above the 20, both above the 200. You're betting on the upside. Every power bar near the 20. Power bar is near the 20. This doesn't have to touch it. Just can't be up here. All right. This is near, this is close enough near the 20. Look at your tail bar near the 20. You see? You just don't want to be getting in here. This is a little too far away from the 20. All right. We're building. We're building it, guys. And we're putting it together. Okay. This is a two minute chart of Facebook, right? So every bar is two minutes. So look at this bottoming tail bar. That's the rocket bar, right? Near the 20. Boom. Now look, guys, this is from 184.50 to what? 187. You know, if you bought, if you just did 100 shares of that, the smallest amount you can play in my system. Just one. That's the small. My traders can go from 100 to 500 at level one, all right? So 100 shares buying above this tail and two, four, six minutes later, this was on what date? April 23rd, right? 23rd of April, all right. So 100 shares, from 184.50 to 187.50 is $300, but it didn't quite get there. So a little less than $300 in two, four, six minutes. And you know you're supposed to sell away from the 20. That's crazy. Where can you do this? What other job can you do this from your kitchen table, from the beach, from a mountaintop, from an airplane with, when we able to fly, with, with Wi-Fi? This is crazy. All right. We're building it. We're building it. Here's the picture power to the downside, guys. Declining stock, declining 20 all below the 200. So now we've got the picture. 
this way, right? So now we're looking for these bars and fat red ones. Okay, now, fat red ones, get in right below, boom! Look at these fat bars, boom! Boom, we gotta talk about this one though. Once you get wide, the game is different. We'll get to that. All right, gotta keep going, gotta keep going, gotta keep going. Here, look, picture of power. Again, stock 20, 200. This is the picture. We're looking for these, these bars and these, right? Boom, right under, okay? Okay, you've got the game. All it becomes then is a waiting game. Now, once you're in, you're going to protect yourself above the high of the bar. So if this moves up, you're out, period. Just done. Kill it. Move on. That's going to happen sometimes. Let's be realistic. It's not 100%. What in life is 100%? Nothing. Maybe, well, maybe death and taxes, but that's it. All right? It's the only thing 100%. Death is 100%. Today's world taxes, fortunately. Now let's, so, so guys, look. I'm going to make you look at my face on this one again. Okay, look. We have these concepts, right? We've got. The power picture to the upside. We got the power picture to the downside. We got the concept that, okay, when you have the power picture to the upside, the stock can get away from the 20, can't stay. So that means you should be getting in near the 20, out away from the 20, right? We got the concept of the picture power to the downside. We know the stocks can get away from the 20, can't stay away from the 20. So you should be getting in near the 20 and getting out away from the 20 and repeat. But how do you know when to get in when it's near the 20? Well, when you get one of the two power bars, boom, elephant bar near the rising 20, go buy above the high, away from the 20, out, right? You get a rising 20, bottoming tail bar, right? Buy above, Away from the 20, out. Stop above, below the bar. Don't let you, don't lose the bar. If you lose the bar, you're out. That one didn't work. Move to the next trade. Now let's add one more game to it. I gave you the power bar elephant and the power bar tail. Now we have to add the color game. So we're going to have three games. Elephant game. Tail game, color game, and then we're done. All right? So check this out. I get so excited. It's 33 years and I'm still excited. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Color game. Color game. Color game is very simple. See, this is the elephant game near the 20, right? You don't have to be touching, just don't be far away from. So we buy above the elephant bar. We told you that. But I want you buying in the picture of power up. I want you buying above red as well. Buy above red bars that are not that far away from the 20. They don't have to be super, super, super close but they can't be super, super far, all right? So we're going to buy above elephants. We're going to buy above tails. And we're going to buy above the opposite color bar. Boom! Look. Boom! Boom! Now, here's what I, here's what I teach my traders to do. First... Your first buy, you're going to take $50,000 and you're going to take half of it. 
out of the 50, 25,000 goes here. Boom, $25,000. One penny above that elephant bar's high. You take half of the money I gave you and put it in. I want you to be an aggressive trader. Don't put a little tiny inty beanty baby. We don't trade with baby money, baby, baby, coo coo ga ga. No. Boom, 25000 in. You take half of the account and you dump it into the stock right there, right? Now, you protect yourself right here. If the stock drops below, you're out. Okay, that's going to happen sometimes. But many times, you're going to skyrocket to the upside. And get, guys, listen to this. When you lose, you lose one bar. When you win, you might win six bars. When you lose, you lose one bar from here to there. But when you win, you might win 20 bars. When you lose, you lose one bar. When you win, you might win nine bars. When you lose, you lose one bar. When you win, you might win 40 bars. When you lose, you lose one bar. When you win, you might win two bars. When you lose, you lose one bar. Sometimes when you win, you might win one bar, but you will never lose more than one bar. This is how you stay in business forever in this, in this game called trading. This is how you stay alive, and this is how you become one of the 8%. This is how you take money from the markets every day, every week. This is how you prevent yourself from becoming the 92% of people that fail. The 92% are 92% because they don't limit their losses to one bar. This is the number one reason. If you are losing today, I guarantee you it's the number one reason that you're losing. You're not limiting your losses to one bar. Because your wins will be 1 through 50 bars. The wins take care of themselves. You have to take care of the losing side of it. Please remember this. Extraordinarily important. So the color game is to buy above red bars in the picture of power. Now, the opposite game, traders, when you've got the picture of power to the downside, the color game looks like this. Let me draw it for you. Elephant bar, boom, we come in here. Enter below the elephant. Another red bar. And wait a minute, look at this. Let me get a green bar. Now, if the red takes out the green bar, that's the color game. Boom, right there. Get in on the color game. So you've got three games here. You've got the elephant game, the tail bar game, right? Boom. And you've got the color game. But we need to play these three games in the down picture power and play these games in the up picture of power. So once you have the picture power and your three games and the concept that away you get out and near you start playing your games again, Away from the 20, get out. All right? Away from the 20, get out. Near the 20, play the games again. Away from the 20, get out. Near the 20, play the games again. Woo! Now we're, uh -oh, we're putting together a system. Don't lose more than one bar. That's probably the most important thing I've shared with you today, Trey. The one bar loss approach to trade the one bar law you will stay in this game forever here's the tail bar version buy above the tail boom 25,000 in stop next one 
You can put 25,000 here, but I suggest that you take the remaining 25, okay, and you split that in half. So now, what is it, 13,000, 12,000. So then, so the, so this can, you can put like around 13,000 in, and the next one, if there's another one, put the final one in. You ease your way in. The biggest entry is always the biggest one. The next additional ads are the smaller ones, okay? So I like to break things up into threes, right? Uh, into thirds, right? So, well, into three parts, 25, 13, 12, right? So 25, 13, now you've got 12 more to do the very next color game. All right, let's go over this. Whoo, beautiful. All right, now, play. It doesn't matter whether you get first, right, the elephant or the tail or a color play, which is green taking out red. Right, so these are the three games. One, two, three. We buy above, we buy above, we buy above. It doesn't matter which one happens first, all right? Look at this red bar above the red, all right? Look at this red above the red near the 20. Look at this red above the red near the 20. Look at this red. It doesn't have to be touching the 20, just near it, above the red. Now let's look at the elephants. Look at this elephant. Look at this elephant. All right. As long as you're just not that far and then you you know you're getting out. You're getting out near color game out. Color game. Elephant game out. Color game. This is a big move here. It doesn't look like it, but. Here's your color game again, above the red. Look, stop, look at your risk, and look at what you win. Look at that. I'm going to do it again. Look at your risk. You're buying above the red bar. Stop below the red bar. That's your risk. And look at the gain win. Now, this is playing the game professionally. When you lose, you lose one bar. When you win, how many of these boxes inside of this box? You see what I'm saying? You win one, two, three, four, like five of these. But every time you lose, you lose one. That's how you play the game professionally. All right? Beautiful. We're putting it together. We're putting it together. I love it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Guys, this is Friday. Can you believe it? Wait, is it Friday? Thursday, maybe. Thursday. This is Thursday, June 11. This is Microsoft. Two-minute chart. Look at Look at your 200, boom, look at your 20, look at your stock. You got the power game to the downside, right? Now, play the freaking color game for me. Play the color game. You know how to do it. You know how to do it now. You're, 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 you're more educated now after a couple of hours than you ever have been regarding trading here now. Now look at this, boom, red eliminates green. All right. Boom. Red eliminates green. Red eliminates green. Away out. Come back. Snap back to the 20. Look. Red eliminates this green. Boom. Away. 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 
near, away, near, away, near, away, near, away. I got to do this. I got to do this. Does this seem like rocket science to you? This is not rocket science. I'm showing you in your faces. It's not rocket science. So some traders say, well, Oliver, my God, if it's this simple, why is there a 92% failure rate? Because people don't keep their losses to one bar. You see, there are times this doesn't work. When it doesn't work, they hope, they pray that it gets better. They hope, they pray that they get their money back. They hope and pray that the stock reverses and comes back. They hope and pray the situation returns, improves. This is one of the reasons. The other reason? They don't let the stock get away for taking a profit. They don't wait for the stock to get away. They get in, a little move up, they get out because they're scared. They're scared that I I, I don't want to lose this little tiny eensy bit. Of, I don't, I'm always losing, but now I got a little bit of gain. They snatch the game too quickly. So by, by not getting out when you're wrong and cutting the play off when you're just right a little bit is the opposite part of the game. That's this. Let me explain it to you. Let me show it to you. It's very important. So remember I showed, showed you this is the way you stay in business for a long time. This is your loss. And this is your typical game. So your loss is one bar, but then you have many of these inside of here. Right? But the way people lose is this is backwards. Their loss is like this. And their win is like that. It's the opposite. So when they lose, they don't cut here. They let this happen. When they win, they they cut here. They don't let this happen. And there you have it. In a nutshell, this is the 92%. This is the 8% picture. You can get these two things right. Cut when you're supposed to cut. And wait for your 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 stock to get away. Ooh. Congratulations. You've just joined the winner's circle. And guess what the winner's club is called? The 8% club. Congratulations. You've just joined the 8% club. If you can do this, the 8% club. The key, cut, 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 away, take. Get those two things right and you will never be the 92%. Showing it to you in your face, real examples here, real examples. Guys, look at QCOM. Boom! Elephant bar. Look at the color game. You put 25,000 here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here comes the 13,000. Boom! Right above that red. That's the color game. Away! That's QCOM on the daily, just to show you it works in all time frames. That's Friday activity right there. That's as of Friday. All right? Beautiful. Beautiful. You know you know it here. Here's here's the elephant bar. Come in, bring that 25,000 in there. Get that 25,000 really. Boom! Come from way over here. Come from way over here. Boom! 
Stop. Uh oh, here's a color game. Here's a 13,000. Boom! Want to try it again with the 12? Boom! All right. All right, guys. You see it. You know this. Look at Apple on the daily. Just to show you that it's all on all time frames. Look at the picture power. 20. 200. Stop. Picture power up. Now, play the game. Wait a minute. Come from way over here. 25,000. 25,000. Boom. Elephant. Play that color game above the red. Shh. Out. Away from the 20. Now, start again. Color game. Boom. Color game. Boom. Away. I'm back. Color game. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come way over here. Way over here. Shh. Boom! Color game. Away out. Snap back. Guys, now it's just silly and repetitive. Over and over and over and over again. This is what you repeat forever. The same way every single time now what time is it here uh oh ah i'm right on time cool let's quickly talk about the three states the three states love it so guys now i can move at a much faster pace with you i know this i can feel it i can feel it i can move with a much faster pace now, which is the last part of the presentation, I'm going to breeze through. Guarantee you, the vast majority of you are going to understand it. With this, go, 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 go. You're going to know where you get in, where you protect yourself, when you get out. That's trading. Where knowing when to play long, when to play short with the pictures of power, when to get in, where to protect yourself, and when to get out. That's it? No, 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 no. I missed something. I missed something. Sorry. When to play to the up, with the picture of power this way. When to play to the down, picture of power this way. When to get in near the 20. When to get out away from the 20. What do I buy near the 20? Elephants, tails, color game. When specifically do I send my missile in? Boom! One penny above elephants, one penny above tails, one penny above the opposite color, the color game. Where do I protect myself, Oliver? Under the bar. Lose only one bar. But how much do I put in? Boom! Half, and then half, and then the final half. So 25,000 is half of 50. Now you've got 25 left. Half of 25 is roughly two, 12 and a half thousand. And then another 12 and a half thousand. If you want to do, do, it, do it that way. So you know when to go long, when to go short. Do you know the majority of people don't know that? You know where to get in near the 20. You know what three things you're waiting for to happen near the 20. Elephants, tails, color game. What else? You know how much money to put in and exactly where. One penny above the high of those things. You know exactly where to protect yourself. One penny under the bar. Don't lose the bar. You even know where to add on the next color games. Right? You know how much to go in. 25,000 first, 12 and a half second, 12 and a half second. Boom. I'm done. You know where to get out. Away. These are all the components of proper trading. Do you know how many millions of people are out there? They don't know. Oh, well, I guess uh, I think I'm going to. I just think it's going to go up. There's no method. There's no system. There's nothing specific. There's no reason. There's no strategy. That's what I just did. I heard. That, 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 that. Like, how, how, can, how can consistency come from? Well, I heard. I think. I feel. Uh, I did. I study. No, forget all of that. 
It's time to get specific. It's time to have a method. It's time to have a concrete strategy that you duplicate every single time the same way. You can't be consistent doing things inconsistently. Consistency comes from applying something consistently the same way every time. That's how you create consistency. Consistency comes from consistency. But the problem is most people don't have anything to be consistent with. They just think it's a freaking casino. I think it's going to go up from here. I think it's low enough. What? That's your strategy? You think? Well, yeah, I have a feeling. Oh, that, that's your method. Your feelings? Your feelings lie to you. Your thoughts betray you. Systematic, methodical trading is where it's at. No one's going to give you money because you feel or because you think or because you have this general idea. I think it's low enough. No one. No one's smart anyway. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, three states very quickly. Woo! Tight and narrow. Look at the 20 and look at the 200, guys. Look at the 20 and look at the 200. Look how close they are together. That's when we're ready for an explosion. Now, you can get an explosion from this tight, narrow state up or like this. Look at the Dow. Look at the, look at the narrow state. Look at the narrow explosion up. Look at this. Now you have a tight, narrow state. You can explode to the downside. Now, you won't be able to know what from the narrow state it could explode upward or it can explode downward. We just wait to see. You don't have to know in advance. Just wait. If the stock starts giving you elephants up, now you know the explosion is up. If you start getting red movements down from the narrow state, then you know the movement is lower. So you just wait for the market to tell you, all right? People think that you have to know things in advance. You don't have to know in advance. You just have to wait. Like, look, here's the narrow state. 20 and two, close together. Now, boom, look, boom, now we know. Okay, get in under the elephant. Play the color game, boom. Boom! Away out, away out. You know the deal. Away out, 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 near, near. What's this? The color game near again. Boom! Red takes out green. Boom! Red takes out green. Out. Red takes out green. Out. Red takes out green, out. Elephant in. Woo! You know how to play this now. You can play like a freaking pro. Wide. Now, once you go wide, guys, the game is over. No more color game. No more elephant game. No more tail game. We play the games down here. We end the games when we have wide state. No more buying. No more elephants to the upside. No more tail bars, rocket bars. No more color game. No, 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 no. Go to the beach. If you're near a beach and they're open right now. But go. No more. In the game. The game is over to the upside when you get wide. I need you to understand that. That's important. That's coming back in most of the time. We go from narrow to wide, back to narrow. Look, narrow this way, wide, wider, wide. Now we're coming back from wide to narrower, narrower. Now look, we're narrow again. Now we're back going wide the other way. All the markets do is this, traders. Look, go from narrow, from wide. Back to narrow. Wide. Back to narrow. Wide. Back to narrow. And that's it. 
We, we want most of our ends here and we end the game in the wide state. So we started way back here and we continue to play the color game, continue to play the color game and the elephant bar game. But when we get wide, look how sloppy it gets. Boom, 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 boom. See, wide state is kind of dangerous. Boom, now we get back to narrow. Now start again. Elephant bar, boom, color game, boom, color game, boom. Now we're going from narrow to wide again. It's not rocket science. You got two, you got two, three states, really. You got narrow state, wide state, and the trending state in between, all right? Wide, back to narrow. Look, wide, back to narrow, to the downside. Now look at this, wide, we start off narrow, wide, now, no more color game. No more elephant game. Please, no more. No more. Game is over. Go to the beach. Go to the mall. Take a walk. Go outside with your dog. Watch television. Watch the novellas, the shows. I don't care. Watch Netflix. Don't play the game anymore. Like, at least not that game. No more elephants this way. No more color games this way when you're wide. This is now due for reverse. Can you play it back to the upside? Yes. That's what I teach my traders to do. If they want to continue playing, you got to look for the opposite now. Boom, elephant bar. Boom, elephant bar. Color game. Green takes out red. Boom, elephant bar. Now we're playing back this way if you want to play. Know your states. Know your spaces too. You know space, here's the, the picture of power, here is narrow, here is wide, and here is micro space away, micro space, micro space away, micro space away. So you have wide from stock to 20 and wide from Stop 20 to 200. This wide is the dangerous wide. That's the wide that ends the game. All right. Okay. Now, guys, I'm going to go over a series of charts and you're going to know exactly what to do here. Narrow state. Wide state. Now, guys, this is Friday's activity. This is Friday. This is yesterday. Now, look, nar narrow state. Look at this. <laughs> Boom! Wait. Look at this. You're near again. Away. Okay, we come back in. All right, we're still playing to the upside because it's the picture of power. All right? You can play the color game here. You want it doesn't have to be above as long as the 20 is rising if the 20 is rising you can buy it below or above it doesn't have to be above it all the time it's above it here this one's below it so what away take take green takes out red near the 20 look at your bottoming tail bar boom buy above that look at this this bottoming tail bar near the 20 let's call that 160 Oh my God, to almost 230. Look at this. That's crazy. Away. Guys, it's not rocket science. I can show you this all day long. Apple. We've covered this before. Baba, you know how to do this, guys. You're a, look at the narrow state. You're away, out. Elephant bar now near, away, out. Elephant bar now near, away, out. Can it be any? Oh my God. Come on, guys. Look at the topping tail bar away. You're coming down now. Look at your elephant bar. Remember, you can get above, below the 20. That's fine as long as you've got the picture of 
more left of the picture power. Elephant bar. Out. Now you're back near elephant bar. Out. It's not rocket science. It is not rocket science. You can do this, traders. You can do this. You know that when you go wide from narrow to wide, the game is now this way. Now, look at the game this way. This way. From wide back to narrow, right? So look at the game. Away from the 20, back to the 20. 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 And this is Friday. That's yesterday. I'm not showing you something from the 1930s, the 1960s, the 1990s, the early 2000s. I'm showing you from yesterday how if you knew this, you could play like a freaking pro. You can do this, traders. This is not rocket science. You can do this. Wide, back to narrow, elephant bar, boom, color game, boom, away out. You know this. It's now, it's now, now I'm getting bored. Really, seriously. I'm getting freaking bored now. It's, I'm just saying the same thing over and over again. Guys, look, let me show you how I did this with my traders. Look at, look at Apple, guys. What, what date is this? Look, this is June 8th. Two minute chart. Look at this. Look at the narrow state. Look at the wide state. Now play the game from the narrow state. Go do it. Do it for me. Do it right now. You can do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Green takes out red. 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 Way. Come back in. Repeat. Tail bar. Take out the tail bar. Red bar. Green bar takes out the red bars. Come on, guys. Do you see how much money this is? 330s, the 330 to 332. Almost 333. You know how many thousands of dollars is it? this? This is every two minutes. These are two minute bars. You know the game now. You know the pictures to play, where to play, how much to put in, where to protect yourself, when to add, and when to freak it out. Is there anything else? Find the key buy right in the middle of this chart. Here's the beginning of the chart. Here's the middle of the chart. And here's the end of the chart. Find the key buy in this part of the chart. Find it. Do it. Do it now. Tell me where you're going to get in, where you're going to protect yourself, and where you're going to get out. Tell me. Do it. Do it. Do it. You can do it. You see it? I know you all see it because you all can do this now. Boom! Where's your protection? Boom! Look at your protection box. Look at the box. Look at the protection box. This is your protection. Now look at the potential reward box. This is how you stay in this game. Ever. First part. Green takes out. Look at your protection box. Look at your reward. This is how you stay in this game forever. Look at the initial part of the day. Elephant bar. Boom. Protection box. This was a pretty big one, I admit. Or 
But remember I told you, sometimes you win one, sometimes you win two. Sometimes you win one, sometimes you lose one, sometimes you win one, but at least you will never lose more than one. That's how you stay in the business forever. That's how you prevent yourself from being the 92% traders. Last thing I want to know. Here, look, look at, find the buy on Apple in, the, find the bar, find it, find it, find it, find it. You can do it. You can do it. Send that missile in for me. Send the missile in. Send it in. Boom. What's the wrist box? Find the wrist, draw the wrist box in. Now the reward box. That's how you stay in this business. You lose these. That's going to happen. But take these and run. I want to show you one last thing. I'm going to skip through a couple of slides. One last thing. All right. PayPal Friday. No, this is June 10th. Sorry. Look at your narrow state. Look at your wide state. Look at your big bars. Look at your green takes out red here. Boom, the color game. Look at your away take profits. Look at the topping tail bar now suggest down. It's the missile bar to the downside. Can you play the market down here? Yes, if you want to. Guys, this. You can do this. You can do this. Tail bar. Boom. Out. You can do this. All right, guys, look, if you tried it here, boom. All right, maybe this one didn't work. They don't all work. That's it. It is it is. It is naive to think that this is going to be 100%. Nothing's going to be 100%. But I, I, I tell you what, get the picture right. Get the games right. Get the entry right. Protect yourself. Lose one bar. All right, so we lose this one. Nothing wrong with that. The vast majority should wind up in a winning side. And the key is that when you win, you usually win so much bigger than the loss. Play this to the downside, guys. This is Thursday's action in Apple. Green takes out red. Green takes out red. Wait. Here. Green takes red. I'm sorry. Red takes out green. Sorry. Red takes out green. Red takes out green. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Take profits away. You come back toward. Look at this. Red takes out green right there. Look at your wrist. Look at that board. Wow. One last thing I promise. I'm going to show you. Get this. These are just all examples. Look at beyond, guys. Look at this thing go from narrow. This is main, but look at it go from narrow to wide. Look at all of your opportunity here. This is crazy. One thirty four to one for eleven dollars in a short period of time. Crazy. Apple to the upside on June eighth. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom, we went over that. Now, guys, look at this. Read this. For those of you who speak English, I'll, I'll explain what it says. This is me with a group of my traders that we play long term, right? Play long term. Well, I go play. Now, look, narrow, wonderful cruise line, narrow. To wide, right? So, what do you think I'm telling my traders to do here? We're buying right there. Boo!
Look, read it, read it, read it in your faces, in your faces, in your faces. April 28th, boom. Want to see what it did? All right, I'll show you. Show you what it what it did. Boom! <laughs> look, there you go. There's the buy. Now look, away. And this is almost 100% gain. Almost, not quite, almost 100% gain. But away. You know this now. Traders. Listen to me carefully. If I could have you every single day. Oh my God. I've had you for two hours. A little over two hours now. Right? If I had you every day. Six months, a year. It's mind boggling. Your growth, your progress. In my thing, what I do, my traders are taught and trained every day. It is my philosophy that you never stop this. This is not, there's no end to it. There's no end to the training and education. As long as you have my money in your hands, I will pump everything that I have inside of you. Because if I don't do that, I lose. It's my money at risk. This arrangement keeps us honest. If you want to do good at it, if you want to make your living from it, if you want to, the potential to be that 8%, you're going to have to put work and effort into it. There's no way around that. It's not going to magically fall from the sky. That's your part. My part is to train you every single day so well that you don't lose my money. And so we have a partnership together. And this partnership keeps me honest. It keeps me honest in that I can't relax. I can't slack. I can't do my job half-ass. Because who loses? Me. That keeps me honest. You don't put the necessary work and into becoming disciplined at what I teach you like today. You fail to become the 8%. So we both have a responsibility. But I promise you, I will never ask you ever to ever risk a single penny of your money. This is not an organization that teaches you. And after I teach you and take your money for teaching you, I do a Hail Mary. Pat you on the back and hope you do okay. That's not this organization. I am not interested in training you unless we're going to go into business together. I'm going to give you the funding to do that. Universities don't do this. Universities teach you, take your money, it's up to you. What if universities said, you know what, now that we have had you for four to five years pumping our knowledge into you, we're now going to take the endowment from the university and we're going to invest it in your next business. So what do you want to do? We've got $100,000 to invest in your business. Because you were one of our students. We believe in you because you have graduated from our university. So we're going to invest in your next idea. Who does that? Well, in this industry, that's me. I don't say that to be egotistical. I don't. I say that because it's true. I am your university and I am your investor, the bank. The university, you want to look at it like that, is also going to invest in your business so that you never have to put money into the game. 
idiots put money into this game. Real estate game, idiots put money in. The stock game, the trading game, the idiots put money in. It's all about other people's money, other people's capital. All the big business people use the bank's money. All the poor people put money in the bank. Think about this. The poor people put money in the bank, and the bank doesn't even keep their money in the bank. The bank takes poor people's money and doesn't even keep the poor people's money there. It gives the poor people's money to, to other people doing business. Think about this, guys. It's never your money. The biggest business people on the earth are using other people's money. The biggest traders are using other people's money. It's called leverage. Only the little people have been taught to use their own money. Well, I don't want to, I don't want to trade Oliver's money. I don't want to be his employee. But that's not, that's like saying the real estate guy who's gonna borrow two million dollars to buy this property says, I don't want the two million dollars from the bank. I don't want to be an employee of the bank. Ridiculous. It's not about being an employee. Trade when you want, where you want how often you want. There's no requirement. That's your business. This is your business. Now, listen, let me explain the business to you. Now, I know before I explain this, this is not for everyone. I don't even want it to be for everyone. Do I think everyone should try it? Absolutely. But it is not for everyone. Nothing is for everyone. It may not be for you. But let me explain it so you decide whether the business is for you. I. This business changed my life forever. There's a percentage of you listening to this now where it's going to change your life too. A small percentage, as we already know. All right, so let me go back. Let me, let me explain the business to you. And you just decide whether it's for you or not. Simple as that. Now, my main program is called the Self Start Program. The two main things that people do with me is they do the self-start program and something called a live trading camp. We really trade live together and I teach you how to play the game in the first 20 minutes of trading. So this, think of the self-start as the overall program that gets you $50,000 to start and you can grow that to up to a half a million dollars. $50,000 count to start and training every day of your life, two days with two days, study sessions with me, training sessions with me. But you're trained and guided every day of your life. This never ends. There is no expiration to this program. It is forever for life. Okay, that's the self start program. The live trading camp is a specialty program that we delve specifically into trading just the first 20 minutes of the trading day. In, out, boom, done. That is my specialty. That's what I, that's what I became famous for. Okay, so the self start is what gets you the account and lifetime training and education. The live trading camp gets you the specialty on top of that. All right, just want to make that clear. Now, look, these are the prices of the program. I want you to understand, guys, that in the grand the self start trading program is seventeen hundred for life. Listen carefully. I know there's nine there's people from ninety two different countries listening to me right now. I know in some countries this is a tremendous amount of money. In countries like America and China, Australia and the UK and stuff like that, this is nothing, right? It's just a matter of do they feel it's worth it or not? I get it. I'm speaking to an international audience. But listen, guys, what other business can you start for $1,700? A restaurant? Clothing store? Cleaning organization? Employees? 
advertising, equipment, inventory. Now guys, to start one of the best businesses in the world, this is a very small cost. And what, what you get is a $50,000 account, training, everyday training. You get a two-day course that teaches you all of my tactics and strategies. I need two days to get you that, to teach you that. Then every day, you, we all come together every single day during trading. You're trained every day, training every day, forever. You can grow, you get 40% of all the gains once you graduate, I get 60%. But check this out. When you graduate, you will receive 100% of all the gains until this is back in your pocket. Your first goal in the program is to get your 1700. I will not become your partner until this goes right back into your hands. This is a huge motivator for anyone in the program. I'm going to graduate number one, and then I'm going to get my money back. I want you to get your money. Getting your money back means that you are phenomenal as a trader. And that after you get your money back, 100% of all gains until you get your money back, that is when you drop to 40% and I start sharing my 60%. But I won't share until you make this program free. Okay? If you want the self start and the live study session together, it's $3,000. Guys, I used to sell this for $15,000. Go research it. This is a hugely discounted price. If you can't do both, which I encourage, do the self-start first. Add the live trading camp later. If this price is a little too much for you, then try live trading camp first. And then add the self-start if you can. I don't really care where you start. The thing is that most people don't start anything. Start, guys. You can lose this in a week. You can lose this in a day. You can also make this back in a day, in a week, in a month. Don't. Think about cost. Think about value and potential. I want you to take this number and I want you to split this number. All right. I want you to take $1,700. I want you to divide that into 365 days. Find out what your daily cost is over a week. Do it now. This is important. This is what my mother taught me to do. Mother taught me to take a cost and divide it into days. This becomes this cost divided by 365 days. Your cost to be in this program is $5.20. Now, I know that's including weekends, but basically, do you think this game has the potential to make more than 5 or $10? Forever. And if you say yes, then this price is nothing. But wait a minute. Don't just do that. Don't just take 1700 and divide it by 365. I'm sorry. 1700 That's actually $4. Sorry. That's actually Divide it by 365. I was doing it in my head. That's actually $4.66 per day over a year. All right? But 
let's say you're going to give yourself, you're going to dedicate five years to this. You dedicate five years to going to school. You dedicate five years. You can't do something in a few hours or anything significant in a few hours or a few days or even months. Let's say I'm going to give my five. I'm going to give myself five years to become a master at this. Not profitable. Profitability can come before. But mastery. I'm going to give myself five years to become a master. Now, let's take this 365 times five. That's 1,825 days, right? So we're going to divide this by 1,825. Because you're going to dedicate five years of your life to becoming a master of this, right? Right? What's the cost of that? Ninety three cents a day. Do you think that trading the financial markets with money that you never have to put in yourself has the potential? to make more than 93 cents a day forever? And if the answer is yes, this cost is zero in a way. Crazy. Do that with this price and do that with this price. These numbers are less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, guys. Do not get hung up on the cost. Get hung up on the value and the potential. Because the cost is negligent at the end of the day. Now, got something special for you. I'm discounting you. Check this out. If you sign up over the next week, I'm giving you one week. You got you got one week. I'm giving you these prices. Now that cost just per day, just dropped. Remember, you're going to get 100% of your gains until you get this back. All right? In addition, in addition to that, the full program, everything, nothing more you need. Now, $1,000 less, $2,000. Live trading camp is $800. Wow. These are lifetime programs, guys, for life life. In addition to that, I'm going to give you 60% of the gains. I'm going to take the 40%. Listen to me carefully, guys. You're going to be the majority partner in the business. I will take the smaller 40%. You take the bigger 60%. And 100% of the gains go back to you to get your $1,400, $1,500 back. And once you get this back in your pocket, we are in business together and you get the 60%. I take the 40%. Nothing can, should be more motivating than this. Majority partner business. It's powerful. What business that has this potential? can be entered at that cost. Basically only this one. And remember, never put a single penny into a trading account. Never. Never risk your own family's capital. I know this is not for everyone, but there's a percentage of you that it is for. This is your opportunity, traders. This is the opportunity I had back in 19... In, 19, in the 1980s, when two people funded me, gave me, put me in business, I started my professional career being funded. I had to pay $1,000 to rent a space at a trading firm. $1,000 a month is my rental fee for the chair. You don't have a rental fee for a chair. 
I had to give, I only got 10% of the gains. You get 60% of the gains. But that opportunity kicked off 33 year professional trading career. This could be your opportunity. You have training for life every single day in your face. You've got capital to trade with, never have to contribute. And you get the majority of the gains. I wish something like this existed when I started. But one last thing. You sign up within the next 24, no, the next 48 hours. I will give you until the end of Monday. You sign up, join the family, join me in this revolution. You join me in the next 48 hours or by the end of business Monday. I'm going to give you the program this. You got roughly 48 hours, $1,300, no excuse, 60% of the games, two-day course teaching you every single strategy, every single tactic for proper market play, training every single day of your life, trading sessions with me, training sessions with me, study sessions with me. $1,300, 60% of the gains, never starting off with $50,000 and never have to ever contribute a single penny. You can grow from that $50,000 to $100,000 to $250,000 to half a million dollars. Start making some serious money at this. Your question has to be to yourself. It's whether you think you have what it takes to go for the 8%. You don't think so. You don't think you can follow two moving averages, the 20 and the 200. Two bar types, elephants and tails. Two states, wide and narrow. Two locations, near the 20, away from the 20. You don't think you can limit your losses to one bar. Don't do it. I'm telling your face right now. If you don't think you have the discipline to do these things I taught you today, don't do it. But if you do, my God. Imagine. This is your opportunity to become one of the 8%. Just imagine what the potential is, what your future is. It's not easy traders but it is simple it's not easy it is simple i believe that a percentage of you can do this you believe you can do this i want you I want you on my team i want you in my family i want to invest in you i want to grow you nurture you i want this to change your life the same way it changed me. Now, traders, I know that there are many things you could be doing on a Saturday, like walking in the park, watching television, playing with your kids, buying stuff off the internet. I don't know. In the mall shopping, if the if your area happens to be open like mine is. There are many things you could be doing, I know this, but you are here with me today. That is something that I do not take for granted, traders. I want to thank you so very much for attending. I want to thank you so very much, guys, for spending the last two and a half, almost three hours with me. I want to thank you for your support. I want to thank you for your interest. I want to thank you for your passion. There is not a day that goes by that I do not feel a deep sense of appreciation for you, for watching my videos, for your comments, for your faith and your trust and your belief in me. 
I am truly hoping that several of you, a percentage of you, will join the family. And I'm looking forward to that. Thank you so very much, traders. Until next time, trade well. Boom! Woo! I'm so glad you can't see me right now. Oh, yeah. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> I love it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Woo!